item back. Then Soka does some stuff that makes that's kind of sus because doesn't it remind you of Anakin, bro? And Obi Wan decides to be a sus boy and troll him. And the, the shield goes down, Obi Wan tortures the guy some more because the negotiations were short. We finally have reinforcements, and Anakin's actually being nice for once. Yoda and Obi Wan troll Anakin again, but then they deport him on a, on a solo mission. That's pretty wholesome. And why would you send Anakin to a hut? They literally put him into slavery. That was pretty stupid. They showed R4 before he died of Ligma. That's the scene where he turned the Jedi. Jabba's bounty hunters are all dead, and he has a C3PO model and he throws a temper tantrum. Ahsoka makes friends with the clones, and Obi Wan visits Jabba. Then R4 almost gets jumped. That's goofy. Obi Wan tells Anakin the plan. I like how Ahsoka fires up her lightsaber. Dumb droids. This is where the fun begins. Anakin, I mean, Ahsoka almost dies of Ligma. Then Anakin eats the droids. Sky and Snips, that's when they use the nicknames. They bully like the one guy who's actually a traitor later. Anakin casually makes a trap, and that's so disgusting. Count Dooku tricks Jabba into thinking that, you know, the Jedi are behind the kidnapping of his son. Ahsoka bullies Anakin. That one guy was actually working for Dooku, and bro got tricked by a no contact scene. They talk to Obi Wan but get jumped. Then they add in a Wilhelm scream, and then you realize this is actually Star Wars. Literally every Star Wars media has a Wilhelm scream used at least once. Even the video games, even the Lego video games use the Wilhelm scream at least once. It's crazy. And then we see a disgust the hut baby. It's literally very disgusting. Like this animation has not held up well. The only people that look okay are like Anakin, Obi Wan, and uh, Anakin, Obi Wan. I'd say Ahsoka. Everyone else look goofy AF. R two D two. That's the thing from the Lego games. And Anakin actually be, be, is j being genuine for once. The baby almost runs away, and Ventress tortures a clone and uses a Jedi mind trick on him. Obi Wan is down bad. Look at the clones. They are very cool, but they are cornered and the hut baby is dying. Imagine if the baby fell off during the, the chase scene. They fight Ventress, but R2-D2 gets abused in the prequels. Ahsoka ru runs into the person from before, and Obi-Wan leaves the ground team. Hound Dooku gets a status be briefing. Obi-Wan fights Ventress. We finally have the ship and fly away. They call him Shake. Shaky, but isn't he green? They call him Shaky, but isn't he green? But like last time. They, try they go to heal him, Obi-Wan has swag. You should have to speak Ahsoka, now we're going to die. I like these long takes of just music and action. Hey, that lightsaber is two-sided and split. Now it's- Oh, now he's green. The blade got broken, but it's like- But it's like Dooku's. Shava's son is tested for COVID-19, and bro, he witnesses mom's death there. He's very mad now. <laughs> and now he's beat up Count Dooku too, bro. They really hate Anakin, man. They send Anakin to Jabba's place, and Jabba's ready to beat him up. They get attacked, and then he gets he bullies Anakin. And, and Ahsoka do, does it for using offense over defense. Then Ahsoka bullies R2-D2 for being being big. They crash land Tatooine, and Count Dooku wants to fight Anakin again and Ahsoka. Yoda and Palpatine are briefed on the situation, and we finally get to see Padme for once. I low-key forgot this was a, Padme was in this. Padme wants to go to Tatooine. Ta Tatooine though to help. I didn't know R2D2 didn't like San. Bro must have hated the early Skywalker movies. Who is this dude? Turns out okay, this is where the movie gets wild. This is this is everything else was passable. This is where it just goes off the rails. Turns out Jabba's uncle named Zero is actually behind all of this. But the problem with this, he is a new character introduced at less than 30 minute mark. Last of the movie. So basically this dude is just gonna be here to be evil. Like no establishing trace, no nothing. I think this is the only thing he's in actually. Like they made him just for this movie. There is no way they did this on purpose. Like bruh. This is a bad twist villain. So and then this which to be fair, this is from Disney technically, so they do have a history of that, but still. Ahsoka continues to prod at Anakin's trauma, and I proceed to bring up the I don't like sand scene, which is coarse and rough. Count Dooku is also working with Jabba's uncle for some reason, Zero, and they lay out the twist in front of us. I don't like Zero's voice. His voice is horrible. His voice can get deported to the Shadow Realm. And the way he's, they say droids, Padawan, is weird. They split up. It's 3PO. Dooku's on his speeder from Attack of the Clones, and they fight again. The fi this fight scene is why Anakin doesn't like sand. Because they were literally throwing sand at each other. He tricked Dooku. Ahsoka is cornered. R2-D2 falls over and now he can't get up. She's too dangerous to be kept alive. The clones beat up Zero. Bro tried to kill- Tried to pull I had to do it. He killed me line. 
I can negotiate with Jabba and Ahsoka brings a baby, which is very sus, man. Which is really sus, because who did Jabba, like, get with? It was definitely not consensual. There ain't no way. Now he's going to kill Anakin and Ahsoka. Now Jabba gets a transmission from Leia, which exposes zero plot. Now Jabba is willing to help the Republic. Now we have to beat up Count Dooku. Palpatine just casually lets the Jedi win. You all arrived with Obi-Wan, at least took a credit to her Star Wars style. Okay, so what do I think about this movie? Uh, it's not like a top tier movie. Look at the animation and tell me that's... Look at it. It isn't good at all. It's kind of ass. But honestly, what I think... Honestly, I think it's a fine little kids movie. Fine side quest to play in the background from once in a while. Like, you should only just watch it, like, only once and that's it. The worst thing about it, honestly, would be the zero plot line. If they just change the zero plot line to, like, something else and maybe focus more on Dooku, it would probably be a better movie. Eh, 6 or 7 out of 10. Next time, I'm going to be re reviewing the, um... The T Tales of the Jedi and o the Obi-Wan Kenobi show. I wasn't originally going to do videos on it, but after looking at thinking about it, I realized I actually had some stuff to say. So look out for that. After that, I'll also be doing the Dar next Darth Bane book. See ya.